Prince Harry said most people bear unresolved trauma, loss, or grief ahead of the launch of his new TV series Co. Created with Oprah Winfrey, Prince Harry and Oprah's much-anticipated TV show focused on mental health is due to be released on May 21. It has been announced. The series, to be broadcasted on Apple TV, will see the pair in conversation with several guests, guiding honest discussions about mental health and emotional well-being. But it is also set to feature highly personal moments for the Duke of Sussex as, according to details released, it will see Oprah and Harry discuss their own mental health journeys and struggles. The show titled The Me You Can't See, will see 14 experts and organizations shed light on different pathways to treatment. Among the guests confirmed set to speak about their experiences there are actress Glenn Close and singer Lady Gaga. NBA players DeMar DeRozan and Langston Galloway will also sit down to speak with Oprah and Harry. Ahead of the series' debut, Prince Harry said, We are born into different lives, brought up in different environments, and as a result are exposed to different experiences. But our shared experience is that we are all human. The majority of us carry some form of unresolved trauma, loss, or grief, which feels, and is, very personal. Yet the last year has shown us that we are all in this together and my hope is that this series will show there is power in vulnerability, connection and empathy, and strength in honesty. Oprah also said in a statement, Now more than ever, there is an immediate need to replace the shame surrounding mental health with wisdom, compassion, and honesty. Our series aims to spark that global conversation. Prince Harry's show focused on mental health was first announced in April 2019. Speaking about the series at the time, the Duke of Sussex said, I truly believe that good mental health, mental fitness, is the key to powerful leadership, productive communities and a purpose-driven self. It is a huge responsibility to get this right as we bring you the facts, the science and the awareness of a subject that is so relevant during these times. Our hope is that this series will be positive enlightening and inclusive, sharing global stories of unparalleled human spirit fighting back from the darkest places, and the opportunity for us to understand ourselves and those around us better. I am incredibly proud to be working alongside Oprah on this vital series. The Duke's communications office in early 2019, Kensington Palace, said the show was due to premiere in April 2020. However, due to the coronavirus pandemic, its release was delayed. In late April, Oprah let slip the show she co- created with the royal would debut within weeks. Appearing on The Drew Barrymore Show on CBS alongside psychiatrist Dr. Bruce D. Perry, Oprah said, I want to just say that Dr. Perry and I have been also, for the past two years, along with Prince Harry and Apple, we have been working on this mental health series that's coming out in May on Apple. Prince Harry has focused much of his royal work on mental health and has spoken candidly in the past about his own struggles. In 2016, the Duke of Sussex launched with Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, and Prince William, Heads Together, an initiative aiming to change the conversation surrounding mental health. Joined by Meghan, the three royals launched in May 2019 Mental Health Text Line Shout, a 24-7 messaging service for people who are experiencing a mental health crisis. Harry also worked with the Ministry of Defense on the launch of HeadFit a digital program designed to help army personnel and veterans be more proactive with maintaining both their mental and physical health. As a non-working royal, Prince Harry is now set to pour the experience he gathered throughout the years on mental health into his new position at mental health and coaching firm BetterUp, which hired him in March as chief impact officer. With his brother William, the Duke of Sussex marked the 20th anniversary of the death of Princess Diana by speaking candidly about the impact the loss of his mother at a young age had on them. More recently, he spoke about his mental health in two TV appearances, on The Late Late Show with James Corden and during his and Meghan's interview with Oprah. Speaking to the TV hosts about why he decided to step down as full-time working royal, Prince Harry said he wanted to safeguard the mental well-being of his family.